didn't mean to do it. They didn't have the intent to kill, but it happened anyway, and it happened because of more than mere negligence. Our top story at five, charges will be filed in the Rust film set shooting. Actor Alec Baldwin and armorer Hannah Gutierrez-Reed will both face two counts of involuntary manslaughter, according to the Santa Fe County DA's office. The incident in October of 2021 killed cinematographer Helena Hutchins and injured director Joel Souza. The shooting happened on the Bonanza Creek Ranch movie set near Santa Fe. We have team coverage with reporters working all of the angles. Our legal expert John Day says it would have been shocking if no charges were filed. He'll join us coming up. But we begin with Stephanie Manise, who explains the charges. Doug Shelley, the Santa Fe District Attorney, Mary Carmack Altwise, announced three people would be charged in the Russ film set shooting. The most serious charges are involuntary manslaughter charges for actor Al and producer Alec Baldwin and armor Hannah Gutierrez Reed. The film's assistant director, Dave Halls, reached a plea agreement. October 21st, 2021, a single gunshot round rang at Bonanza Creek Ranch. Uh, Bonanza Creek Ranch has had two people accidentally shot on a movie set by a prop gun. The ranch full of cast and crew members for the Western movie Rust. Actor Alec Baldwin was using the gun when investigators say he fired towards cinematographer Helena Hutchins and director Joel Souza. Now, Santa Fe District Attorney Mary Carmack Altwise says three people will be charged, including Baldwin. Baldwin will be charged with involuntary manslaughter in the death of Helena Hutchins. That's a fourth degree felony with up to 18 months in jail and a $5,000 fine. The jury could also add a mandatory five year prison sentence because the death involved a gun. The film sets armor Hannah Gutierrez Reed is the daughter of a well known prop master Fell Reed. In an interview last year, he told ABC News he did not believe his daughter would be. No, the, the sheriff's department will get to the bottom of this. I'm not worried about that at all. But she's also facing the same charge of involuntary manslaughter as Baldwin. That includes the possible mandatory five year sentence. Assistant Director David Halls reached a plea agreement. He will plead guilty to negligent use of a deadly weapon and will face six months of probation. Stephanie Muniz, KOT Action 7 News. And the Santa Fe District Attorney says her office will file these charges by the end of the month. Back to you. All right, our KOT legal expert John Day joins us once again. John, we've had a lot of reaction, heard a lot of things from around the country today about this case. Some are saying that because Alec Baldwin is a celebrity, that the DA could be overreaching here. What's your take on this? I know we're hearing a lot from around the country, not locally in New Mexico, but both coasts, for example, uh, legal experts saying, well, this is overcharging. Baldwin's not responsible, but I think we look at it through the eyes of the local district attorney. If she hadn't charged him, how would she continue on? How would she have another mm -hmm. case involving involuntary manslaughter? Because people would be saying, well, I'm not a celebrity, so mm -hmm. well, you know, I should be able to get away with this too. But mm -hmm. I think the fact is, is that she's trying to keep a precedent set here, which is that uh, if you use a gun, mm -hmm. if you're holding a gun, you're responsible for what comes out the other end. Mm -hmm. And you touched on this right here, but pretty much every accident is different. So this could set some type of precedent here in New Mexico? Well, I think the idea is that film sets are obviously have to be much more attentive mm -hmm. to, the, to the safety rules. And I think that's one point that, that the DA is making is that there had been a lot of uh, laxity, a lot of carelessness, a lot of inattention to safety rules on this set. And that's one of the things that went into her charging decision. Yeah, a lot of the staff coming and going, reports of target practice out there in the field. So, yeah, very different. Taking right, set safety seriously yeah. maybe the message sent here, too. Okay, John, thank you. And we have a statement coming from the family of Helena Hutchins, and it says this in part. We want to thank the Santa Fe Sheriff and the District Attorney for concluding their thorough investigation and determining that charges for involuntary manslaughter are warranted for the killing of Helena Hutchins with conscious disregard for human life. Our independent investigation also supports that charges are warranted. Right, we're going to take a quick look now at the events leading up to today's announcement. On October 21st, 2021, Baldwin fired a gun, killing Helena Hutchins and injuring director Joel Souza. Baldwin said he did not believe he would be charged, but the Santa Fe Sheriff maintained no one's off the hook. The final decision completely up to the DA, who said last week that announcement was coming. And Baldwin claims he was complying with the investigation. Any suggestion that I am not complying with requests or orders or demands or search warrants about my phone, that's bullshit. That's a lie. One big piece of evidence, Baldwin's cell phone, as authorities look to get text messages, call logs, photos and videos and private social media messages. Faith Ebonu is live now in Santa Fe. And that's what the district attorney is explaining her decision. Faith. Yes, yeah, right. The Rust movie set was here at Bonanza Creek Ranch, and prosecutors say that deadly shooting that took place here just over a year ago could have all been avoided. 
And now the Santa Fe District Attorney is talking about her reasons for charging Alec Baldwin and Arma Hannah Gutierrez Reed with involuntary manslaughter. Mary Carmack Outway says probable cause is there, and Assistant Director David Halls has already agreed to plead guilty to negligent use of a deadly weapon. She says the criminal charges stem from a lack of safety standards on set. There were live rounds on set. They were mixed in with regular dummy rounds. Nobody was checking those, or at least they weren't checking them consistently. And then they somehow got loaded into a gun, handed off to Alec Baldwin. He didn't check it. He didn't do any of the things that he was supposed to do to make sure that he was safe or that anyone around him was safe. And then he pointed the gun at Helena Hutchins and he pulled the trigger. And the DA says Baldwin had a duty as an actor and producer to check the gun and reports of previous accidental misfires on the set added to that obligation to prevent another accident. And coming up at 6, my prosecutors say Baldwin is not only responsible for Hutchins' death, but his actions in that moment. Reporting in Santa Fe, Faithy Buanu, KOAT, Action 7 News. Now we received a statement from the attorney for armorer Hannah Gutierrez Reed. They wrote, Hannah is and has always been very emotional and sad about this tragic accident, but she did not commit involuntary manslaughter. These charges are the result of very flawed investigations and an accurate understanding of the full facts. The film's assistant director, David Hall, signed a plea agreement on charges of negligent use of a deadly weapon, which is a petty misdemeanor. He'll serve a suspended sentence and six months probation. Hall's attorney maintained communication with the Santa Fe County District Attorney since October 2021. And more recently, we started working on a potential resolution. And so I was not surprised by the announcement because I had, you know, we, I had been informed and I had been working with Ms. Carmack and I knew what the announcement was going to be. And our legal expert, John Day, joining us once again. We just heard from the attorney for the assistant director about how she worked for over a year trying to reach this plea agreement. G good idea? Smart move on, on Dave Hall's attorney's right. part because it's basically a race to the district attorney's office. Who is going to get there first? Who's going to get a deal? Mm -hmm. Who's going to cooperate? testify against the others. Um, strategically, it was a smart thing for him to do. He may have had the least amount of culpability of the three of them, and his sentence is essentially a slap on the wrist. It's a probation mm -hmm. period, no jail time, a right. petty misdemeanor, the lowest, literally the lowest possible charge that, that could have come. And, and as a result, he's going to most likely testify against the other two if this case goes to trial. Of course, we've been waiting on this since October of 2021. What happens next? Will Baldwin actually show up in court? Well, what happens next is an arraignment, which he can waive. Most likely he's not going to show up. But there is going to be what's called a preliminary hearing. It's a mini trial where the DA presents evidence to a judge. The judge determines, is there enough probable cause here to move the case on into district court? And most likely Baldwin will be there. Defendants are supposed mm -hmm. to be there for mm -hmm. their preliminary hearings.